I want you to get your butt in my trailer, get some sleep. I've got some work to do here, and I need my privacy. Uh, Chappie, I gotta see my mom, and, and I have to call Katie. What are you gonna tell her? I don't know. That... I don't know either. You sure can't tell her the truth? Look, look, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll have Slappy talk to both of them after we have gone. Okay? Now you get in my trailer. Now. I said, get your butt in my trailer. Now. Yes, sir. American his final meal. After tomorrow, he will not have much of an appetite. I thought I told you to get some sleep. Just relaxing a bit. Watching a little TV. I don't need much sleep for this anyway. Now, how the hell do you know what you need for this? I just meant I'm ready. You're ready for this, aren't you, chap? You think it's gonna be so easy, don't you? No, I don't think it's gonna be all easy. I'm just ready for it, that's all. You ain't ready for shit, boy. Go ahead, open it. Who are these guys? A bunch of kids that thought that they were ready, too. Pilots? All of them. They all look about 22 or 23. That's right. All of them. So I don't see what you're getting so worried about, chap. What makes them any different than me? Because they're dead! All of them. in the sea. Some parts of them burning just into nothing in the middle of the air. And all of them thought that they were ready for it. When it was all over, I promised myself that I'd never be a part of killing kids again. That's why it took so long to come around to helping you. Now, looks like I've got us both trapped in something that... They could kill us? I know that, Chappie. And those kids? I don't know what you think anymore, but they knew it too. Maybe they weren't ready for it, but who in the hell is ever ready for it? You didn't get me into this. I went to you, remember? I know what we're risking. And I'm proud to be able to fly with you. Maybe I'm not all that ready, but I'm damn proud. Oh, enough of this nonsense. I got some work to do. Where, where'd you put that tape recorder? That's in my bag next to the sink. Hey, wait a minute. Just where do you think you're going? I just wanted to see what you were doing. I want you to see what my pillow in bed is doing. I want you to sleep in five minutes, OK? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Almost forgot. This is my first pair. I want to loan them to you. I'll bring them back. You better. Now you get to bed. Yes, sir, Colonel, sir.
It's sure strange making you this tape. I just got finished talking to you. You had that look on your face. That look you had the first time you asked me to help you get your father. I never told you how I felt about you. Always had a problem talking about my feelings. But I want to tell you now that you got more courage than anybody I ever met. And you're gonna have to use every bit of it to get through this thing. And I want you to know I'm proud to have been by your side. And whatever happens, just remember, we tried. And no one can take that away from us. Frequency eight over. I switched frequencies over. I tell you about that fancy flying. It'll eat up your fuel. Sorry, sir. I was just getting used to the throttle. It's a little touchy. Yeah, yeah. You're lucky I'm not in that cockpit with you. I show you touchy. Keep off the other channels unless you're communicating with the checkpoints. They can monitor everything we say unless we use this frequency. Roger, Colonel, sir. I'm up to 35,000 feet. If you relax till we hit the first refuel. Make sure you got your airspeed perfect. Come in real steady. Congratulations. Couldn't have done better myself. Did they pump this for you, or is this self-service? Smart ass kids. Jap, are you sleeping? Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. I just felt all alone, all of a sudden. Well, try not to think about it. Just think about your dad, how alone he must feel sitting over there. Do you think he knows how much I really love him? I mean, sometimes it can be really tough on me like you are. I know it's only for my own good, but I never really told him I understood all that. He knows. Believe me. He's just trying to make a man out of you. Is that why you're treating me the same way? You're trying to make a man out of me, too? No, your dad already took care of that. I'm just trying to get us out of this alive. Chap, what if I screw up? What if everything goes wrong? Then I'm gonna get real mad. You never seen me really mad, have you? No. I wouldn't want to, either. Well, you better not screw up. Just keep thinking about the plan. Go over your head, every step of it in your head until you have got it automatic. Yes, sir. I'm still showing a seven minute delay from my first refuel. We've got to make up some time. We'll be breaking our flight plans in about five minutes, so do your last minute verification. We're gonna heal from here on out. How do you feel? My stomach's a little tight. Must be that cereal I ate this morning. It's funny. Now it tastes good going down. And about 13 hours later, it makes you feel scared shitless. It'll pass. Do a checkout list like I told you. You're gonna know something's up any time now. Checkpoint contacts us, just ignore it. Time they figure out what's going on. We'll be over the coast. I'll bring up the stores list. I want you to watch that carefully. Always keep it in your head. It's all you got. Look at your fuel gauge. That's all you got, too. Run out of either one of them. You are dead meat. I got that, Chappie. Running about Mach 0.6. Up down to 3,000 feet and hold your airspeed.